Hi gang, I'm here with George Bell, the owner of Specialties Games, Toys and Gifts, and we have just done a really fun demo at this store. Now this is in San Angelo, which a lot of you may not know about. It's a rather small town in Texas, but it's getting bigger. Uh, it has a lot of very fun, dedicated gamers though. We just had a blast. Uh, check out the video for the Crazy Bears tournament and all the goings on today. But uh, George, first off, thank you very much for having oh, us. Oh, it's my pleasure to have you. Yeah. It's very neat to meet our retailer partners. And uh, you have to tell us a little bit about the store because Emery took some footage and you guys sell pretty much everything. Well, not everything. We, I only sell what's cool. There we go. See? So if my wife and I think it's cool, we're going to have it in the store. If we don't think it's cool, we're not going to have it in the store. I like that rule. That's good. It's, it's a really good <laughs> That's the beauty of owning your own store is you can go ahead and make these choices. Really Fantastic. Easy. Yeah. Uh, we started out 20 years ago. Or actually, uh, 19 years and two months ago. See? Uh, 19 years and 10 months ago. There we go. I'll be even better because, you know, we're too, too much short of our 20th anniversary. See? That's pretty cool, gang. Yeah. <laughs> and we started out as a, in a small location, about uh, 360 square feet. Okay, so not here. Not here. Not in this location. 300, uh, 360 square feet. <laughs> Right next to Goodbell Air Force Base. Okay, nice. Uh, Goodbell Air Force Base is a training base, but it also train. It's got the Intelligence School, ah. and we have the Angelo State University, which is a fairly mid-sized university right. here mm -hmm. in in Texas. So that gave us two customer bases that really moved into the game. Nice. Uh, local area is mostly agriculture or oil, of course. Yeah. Yeah. This is West Texas. Exactly. It's either agriculture or oil. Or oil. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. You know, a lot of the local people, we're not so much into gaming, but you know, again, with your university and, right. your, and your Air Force Base, you had a lot of people doing it, but they had no, no place to get anything. Ah, nice. So I opened up the store then, you know, and everything's been really fun. Mm -hmm. We've been expanding, expanding, expanding. I'll say. The reason we've got such a, you know, a different uh, concept in the store mm -hmm. is because, you know, you, gamers grow up. Mm -hmm. And as gamers grow up, gamers get kids. Aha. And if gamers get kids, they want really cool and neat toys for their kids. Exactly. So we want to, my wife and I decided because we had kids at the time too, <laughs> we wanted really cool and neat toys for our kids. You know, that's uh, what we did. That's fantastic. I love it. And, and hence the evolution of the, the, the toys. Right. Well, it's such a great mix too. And a lot of this stuff is like that higher end, like craft level toy, I'd say. I don't know if there's a market term for it. Uh, I think you, your best bet would be specialty toy. There you go. There you go. You know, you've got toys that are seen as seen on TV mm -hmm. and then you've got specialty toy. Right. So if it's sold in Walmart, I don't carry it. Exactly. But if it's cool and it's not sold in Walmart, I do so. Okay. Yes, and there are many things here that are cool. I've been distracted all day. It's kind of hard. So. <laughs> yeah. Now you do carry miniatures, RPGs, board games, a little bit of all the kind of hobby stuff. And that's a that's a good chunk of sales for you? And that's the majority of my sales. Nice. Uh, to, you know, the toys are fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love the kids and everything else. I'm a grandfatherly type nowadays. And <laughs> And, you know, that's where a lot of my emphasis goes. I love kids and I love to make sure things are, are there for them. But I've been a gamer at heart since the 1970s. And you've got to, you've got to stay with it. you got to stay with your passion. you got to stay with your passion. I mean, it's not like you make a lot of money in the, the game retail, the toy retail, the right. game retail business. Right. But it's a lot of fun. Exactly. And, you know, so as long as it's fun, I'm going to keep doing it. That's fantastic. Um, and now, okay, so you've been here this long. You guys must have a great grip on the local game community. Right. You know I mean. How's it work with the store? They know you're the place to come. Do you do events and things like that? Yes, we do regular events. Okay. Uh, you know, of course, we have the Friday Night Magic. You have to have Friday Night Magic. You have to do pre releases yeah, for that Magic Gathering. Works, yeah. I mean, 1,600 pound gorilla. You, know, you, have to, you, you can't ignore them. Yep. We also do regular events for Games Workshop. We do at least. Uh, one 40k tournament each year. We do at least wow. one Warhammer Fantasy tournament. Each nice. Year. Okay. We have regular events for uh, Flames of War, Battlefront Miniatures, Flames of War. We do uh, what are called mega battles. We don't really do tournaments for that. Really. What we do is we invite gamers in to go ahead and do that. You may have gotten, you know, seen some of the games going on here today. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a fairly large community for that as well. Nice. Very good. And of course, board games on every Saturday. If there's a board game, we have a demo copy of it. We'll pull it out and look at it. Nice. Nice. And uh, we played a lot of Castle Panic in that game. <laughs> we like that. That's yeah, we, we have played a lot of Castle Panic. Yeah, there. yeah. A lot of your regulars were already familiar with it, so uh, it was fun to introduce the other games to them. But they had some good uh, Castle Panic pros here, people that could teach it as well as I could. So, no complaints. Um, now you hinted at, and I don't know the whole story yet. You guys do something special for Halloween. We, for the last ten years, we've been doing either an on-site or an off-site Halloween boutique. Nice. Okay. Uh, a lot of kids stuff, mm -hmm. a lot of things for adults. You know, we have a lot of Star Trek 
uniforms and things like that. I mean, this comes out, it comes out in September, and, you know, we sell September through October all types of Halloween. Nice, stuff. nice, very cool. The whole other little, just uh, the seasonal event. Uh, well, That's I told you, it's cool, right? Mm -hmm. So if it's cool, we're going to do it. It's good to know. Exactly. <laughs> that is awesome. So, let's see. Emery, were there any other questions we wanted to ask? Well, I just one of the things that I wanted to mention that was really unique about specialties is that when we were at other uh, Fireside Games tour events, we would hear in, in two places actually in Austin and then in Houston. We heard former gamer or gamers who used to game here formerly that had moved out to Austin and Houston remembered George in the mm -hmm. store and spoke of him fondly and wanted to make sure he was on the tour. Yes, um, they you were know, specifically told to come here. Today. That's right. That's <laughs> so, right. So, so the loyalty so. lives on. We love. We, yeah. I mean, we've got our Facebook page, right? Mm -hmm. And you know, and the hundreds of people that are on my Facebook page, I'd say probably half of them no longer live here. Wow. But they mm -hmm. can still keep track. And That's they, awesome. And yeah. they still have comments and things nice. like that. So, I mean, it's, it's just fun out there. I mean, you know, in 20 years, the babies that I've mm -hmm. um, done, you know, mm -hmm. sold toys to are now having their own babies. babies. That's so kind is, of fantastic. It is kind of fantastic. Built in your own market. I like that. Yeah. That's good. Yeah. You maintain it that way. Exactly. Well, you guys are doing a great job. It's, it's Again, we, we, we see a lot of stores in this tour, and it's really interesting to see how retailers approach it. And this is a really neat approach, given that you're kind of one of the biggest games in town, and, and you've got great stuff for everybody. You know, It's a really nice way to hit this. Well, we do have a customer base that travels up to 100 miles to get here. See? It's worth coming. So if anybody's in this area, it's a place to be if you don't know about it already. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for your time. Oh, for it's having my us. pleasure. Thank you. And I had a blast. Good, good. We will definitely be back again. It's not that far of a drive from Austin. So That's true. It's uh, 270 miles. <laughs> oh, my goodness. He knows exactly. So there you go, gang. That's it. Come on by. Check out specialties. Pretty awesome.